Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch. In the last part, we finished up with the joke of the gym leader of the Psychic Gym. I mean, seriously, one turn, only one attack actually landed. And we come out to this a giant beam of green energy launched to the sky. Oh, and Steven's here. Wh wh what? A p pillar of light appeared from the sea. That direction? Is it the route? Uh, no, is it the direction of Route 128? Whoa, dude! Seriously, dude! It's the end of the world. Skitty, don't worry. Calm down. Skitty. But yeah, Route 128 was mentioned several times. Um, basically, when we they got the submarine, they've made it. They have broken into the cave there, and. As such, we've got to now hurry and quickly try to get there and stop them, I guess. I heard from Little Lies and Tate that you visited their gym. I was thinking of trying to catch you while you were in the area. Then this happened. We should talk. Let's go to my place. Alright, we're going to visit Stephen's house. Which, I don't know why, I just automatically assumed should have been in uh, Rustboro. But I guess he is old enough to have his own place. Ah, yes. I suppose I should welcome you to my home. Please forgive the rather sparse decor. Where to begin? Let's take a moment to understand what's happening in the world right now. That rumbling that shook the earth just now? The eardrum rupturing explosion we heard? They are proof that a seal, which has long hidden deep under sea, has been undone at last. The super ancient Pokemon that has been sealed deep beneath Route 128 since ancient times. It slept until now in the seafloor cavern. The entrance to that cavern was sealed by the power of a certain Pokemon, all in an effort to keep any human or Pokemon forever breaching it. But it now appears that the scheming of that terrible team has undone the seal. There are no doubt that they intend to revive this super ancient Pokemon, and once they do it, they seem to hope to make its power their own. Bard. If that team obtains the power of the super ancient Pokemon, it will upset the balance and nature of this world. A crisis unlike any other before it will befall every living thing on this planet. I plan to do everything in my power to quell this situation. That is my duty. But there is a limit to what I can do with my power alone. That is why I'm asking for your help. I have great faith in your abilities. Lend me your strength to help put a halt to these teams' mad ambitions. With you and I, our Pokemon, you and I and our Pokemon all working together, we will overcome this disastrous turn of events. I don't think it is out of the question. I will entrust you with this. And there, we've already managed to get Dive. Dive is what we needed to... If we will be able to dive to the ocean floor with our Pokemon. And take this so you can stay with your Pokemon even in the depths of the ocean. We got Scuba Gear. Which, I mean, is definitely something I thought was a big plot hole in the original games. Uh, that I'm just kind of... Dive and find... Um, and yes, Seafloor Cavern is high on our list. As such, we're actually not putting Anorith in the lead anymore. Uh, not for a little bit. While we're going through just water routes, it doesn't make sense to lead with Anorith. We're going to be leading with Pikachu. Uh, it's going to be helpful in the case we do run into any water Pokemon. I am going to try to use uh, whatever repels I've picked up in this journey to make the trek. Uh, I do have to restock on healing items, so I don't want to waste money on getting repels. But, we'll go down to the bottom of the island, and let's surf. From Moss Deep City, we're going to be heading... Oh, we have to teach someone dive. Um, really, we only have two Pokemon that can learn dive. It is Swampert. And honestly, with surf as one of his moves, it's really going to be alright to teach him dive as well. Mudshot's nice. Ah... We're gonna keep getting rid of Protect for now. It's it was very helpful. It made the fifth gym a joke, um, but it's not gonna be helping us too too much on any remaining one. Uh, I think really the uh, and Pikachu is gonna want some experience for what's coming up in the future. I think our only real weakness for our team right now is Dark. It doesn't really have any way of dealing with Dark, and there's a lot. I mean, outside of Bug Bite but I don't know if I'd really count that as a um, the walking dark. Alright, we're going to throw our super repel and 
does not look like we oh we have a single other repel so 300 steps we're on a fish technically we're not stepping but ace trainers can even appear in the sea even those who can't swim so yeah he can't swim so he's just gonna stay out on his pokemon the entire time might be a bit difficult while we're fighting his He has a Surfing Pincer. Uh, it's a very unique Pokemon, I, I guess is all I can say. We didn't... Oh, I guess we don't really need to heal up after that gym. We did do a full heal right before the leader. Um, Thunder. I think it should do some extra damage because we're on top of water right now. Uh, but I will live without it. Submission. One hit us. Oh, because he sword stanced. I guess that makes sense. And then he took himself out. Good job, Boba Fett. Get that experience. I'm gonna fall in. Yeah, because you're using a surfer. Uh, sorry, a pincer to surf. Um, but this really is showing us uh, with our team right now, we're gonna be having some issues. So I'm gonna head this way first. Route 126. Not too much of a difference outside of the fact that there's this big structure here. We're gonna want to serve, uh, sorry, dive right here because there is one thing I wanted to do right before we went to that seafloor cavern, and it's it's enough of a, a delay that it's gonna be important. We are at Sutopolis City, and it's weird that we actually have come across a town that you cannot reach any other way but diving. Uh, it's also one of the examples of probably the weirdest um, soft locks you can put yourself in. Uh, if you heal up, like, and then, uh, what is it, release any Pokemon with uh, Surf and Dive. So what you have to do, you have to heal up here, then go from here to um, Fall Arbor, I believe, to the move deleter and delete out Surf and Dive and all that stuff and then release any Pokemon that can learn it. Never pick up the old rod. Never pick up any other rod. I think we have the old and super at this point. Uh, and then come back here with Teleport. Uh, I don't know why I'm... I just hit A. Uh, and then come back here with Surf or Teleport. You will wind up going to that PC not be able to get across the water, not be able to battle any Pokemon or anything, and it softlocks you. If you only have the one Pokemon left, you can't even wonder trade to get your uh, Pokemon back. I'm going to stay on the ocean floor. It's it's very nice and uh, relaxing here, and we can only really encounter Pokemon down in the patches of grass. Also, we get to watch people swim like that. However, we do want to head up to the surface here because we won't be able to get any further without it. Uh, and now is where the difficulties begin because, oh, I was going to say, am I right next to the uh, root change? Because now we don't have a repel active. We, I'm going to, I think I have the single repel left. Let's use it. Oh. One more. There he is. And Pikachu is strong enough that it's repelling all the wild Pokemon as well. Our goal was to head to, well, we saw in the cutscene. We saw this. I always want to dive in the center of it. No idea why, uh, just because that's where the big green beam came from. So if you dive in the center here, guess what happens? Nothing. It, it literally is just you are trapped up here. So whatever did blast out got resealed. That's the important thing. However, you can see there was a seafloor cavern right in front of it. Repellent's effect wore off, which means for the rest of this adventure we're going to be dealing with wild encounters every step of the way. Welcome to Seafloor Cavern. We head up to the surface here because we've now we're in the center of it officially. Uh, we're just in the cave that was there. We can see Summer Explorer 1. 
so we have recovered the sub. A great way to bring Pokemon who just aren't uh, able to use Dive with you. And here comes the point where you're going to start needing more and more TMs to go. So we've got our Pikachu with Rock Smash and Strength. It's a weird situation, but it is one of those things that Pikachu is going to be good for. Um, and because we're no longer, we're now up against uh, non-water types, but in fact Team Aqua, uh, we can perfectly fine fight with Anoreth again. Still working on trying to get him evolved. Um, I wanted to be 40 by that gym. I failed that goal, even though the gym leader was 45s across the board. Um, I, I do want to try to uh, get as much as I can because I'm thinking right now with our team, the level it is, our biggest uh, issue is going to be trying to fight the Elite Four. Fortunately, the Team Aqua uh, Grunts haven't gotten much stronger uh, since we fought them in their last area, but Anorith has. Anorith has gotten quite a few levels uh, since we were taking them down in their hideout. I don't remember the exact route here either. It has been a while. Last time I played through, I was uh, just finishing up the playthrough up to uh, the Team Aqua base, which is why I pretty much knew the route to get to the Master Ball. I picked that up, threw it over to my other file, and then restarted for this run. So from here on out, this stuff hasn't been touched in a while for me. Uh, and when it was last played through, it was Team Magma in this area and not Team Aqua. So it's a very, very drastically different place. Lots of stuff we can do here. I want to actually go up this way because I saw another uh, Team Aqua run. The submarine is small, so it makes you soar all over, doesn't it? Yeah, you gotta keep in mind, all of the Team Rocket and the Team Aqua Grunts we're running into right now came in in that submarine. Call that. Ugh. I really want to take you out with Anorith, but I know I can't. Anorith is not fast enough for it. Uh, we'll smack him down. Take a Poison Fang. I was gonna say, I think our defense is pretty decent, but. Uh, I'm more worried about like Acrobats, which does a lot of damage. Um, it is one of probably the best uh, flying moves that it is. I think that's what wiped us out last time. Mean looks, we can't escape it while we're going to take poison damage consistently. However, he's dead. It took us two full hits to do it, but Anorith managed to finally take down their arch nemesis, which is Golbat. Losing makes me sore too. So he's a sore loser is what he's trying to get out there. Uh, we do have a few, I don't even know if they're antidotes at this point. I don't think we, yeah, we have no antidotes. Uh, but we have, yeah, Petcha Berries. Uh, and we'll Oran Berry twice. Not enough to really uh, warrant going out of our way and using um, Soda Pop, but... What are we fighting? We are coming up against a wild Golbat. Um, as nice as this fight is, as therapeutic as it would be to, to one-hit you... Alright, I guess we're trying to one-hit him. I didn't want to waste the PP. Uh, this is another uh, reason I would want to run with Pikachu in the lead. Uh, it's just for the speed difference. A single Smackdown, not quite enough. I don't want to waste the Ancient Power PP because it might be a um, basic, uh, sorry, what is it? A difference between a loss and a win in a later fight uh, with the buffs that it could give me. Hello Team Aqua. Heave ho, by fanning out we've spotted a suspicious person. Yeah, they've fanned out so that they can um, try to track down the uh, the super old Pokemon, I guess the uh, prehistoric Pokemon, I forget what they've even referred to them as. Um, and it does mean, so so far there's been three, we know uh, that Archie was in here as well, so that's four people who have taken this sub. Uh, already it's starting to seem cramped in that respect, because the thing wasn't very big, and there's got to have room for controls and such. 
so maybe the team couldn't bring too many people. Oh, perfect! We can use strength and get past this area now. So they have four people they've brought for sure. And I think it's safe to say that any Pokemon we run into... Uh, oh, I do not like this idea. I don't like having to hop down because that means I can't go back. Luckily the Strength Rock stays uh, regardless of where we put it. Our next encounter is another Golbat. I wish there was something I had... No, Soft Sound is Ground. This is it. And something I had that actually would buff up Anoran's uh, Rock type. I'd rather buff his uh, bug move because I've been using it a lot more. Um, but I would I'd make do with a rock boost. Nothing, nothing we've got will boost his stuff. So I guess we'll give him the lax incense. I could give him the bomb oh, the prism. No, I want to keep the berry. Um, the only thing I would have swapped it with is a rock boost. Yeah. Uh, I would have given him anything that boosts rock damage, uh, such as, I think, the rock plate, uh, but that's that's old games. Oh, I guess we can't go that way. It's weird, because that really would block you regardless of the direction you were coming from. Well, here's number five. How annoying is it? How annoying of you to fall off the bottom of the ocean. Time to put an end to this. Indeed, we're starting to get pretty close to the end. Um, muck. Ooh. I don't know that I've got anything on me that deals with Muck, because he's poison. Meaning, uh, Bug is not going to do extra damage. Well, let's swap over to Latias. One level difference, so no big uh, strength change here. Yeah, I think focusing on uh, Anorith for this entire time has been helpful. Mist Ball, take him down. Because my team really does cover a lot of different types. Um, between yeah, Cast Form, having Ice, Fire, Water, um, Pikachu covering the Electric, uh, Latias, Dragon, and Psychic, Anorith, uh, and as well form, both being Bug and Rock. Uh, what's Thunderbolt's difference? More accurate. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna forget Thunder right now. And Thunder was nice. Thunder is a strong move, but I hate its inaccuracy. Uh, I was thinking Thunderbolt when I did buy it. But, I mean, can't all win. Another jump down point. I already said I do not like jumping down if I can avoid it, but it looks like I cannot. So, let's go in here. Well, alright, so that circles back. Meaning, this has to be the way to continue on, I guess. It's just weird. So we can push this one all the way over. Make ourselves a walk path. And escape up here? I guess the other one, because the other rocks wouldn't do too much. And now we have to make it past this water uh, maze thing. I guess let's head up here. And we're out. I hope that is the correct solution. Uh, but I'll find out very quick otherwise. Can I? Okay, there is a small rock blocking that side. Oh, well, here is number six. Who would be in that side? Who are you? How did you get in here? Six doesn't sound that bad so far. No. I think, I think I could ride with five other people in that size, so that wouldn't be the end of the world for me. Looks like we're up against Mighty Anna and one other Pokemon, probably a Golbat. Uh, I don't think he's going to have Carvana after it, but look at this. Anorith is now actually the tide and level, and we were taking you up before that point. Goodbye, Mighty Anna. 
Oh wait, not Mighty Anna, we were taking out uh, Carvana. Ooh. Well, at least could buy Mighty Anna anyways. Oh yeah, he, he starts with Intimidate usually. So I guess Anarith might be pretty weak. Weakened now? 39. 96 attack? Oh, yes. Actually, that's... That's pretty bad. Might lower defense. I don't feel that's good. It's a 5 more power, 5 less accuracy. Uh, yeah, we're going to switch to Latios right now. Uh, 17 health is not enough to, to risk it. For any amount of biscuits. So, Mega Mist Ball. It, it feels kind of silly to Mega Ball for a single hit, but I think it's going to push our damage just high enough to actually take down this mod. Never mind, uh, we are still considerable distance away. Uh, it's happening actually. I really wish it would have been strong enough. Because I've got him with Heal Pulse right now. Originally my plan was going to be take down the um, Tate and Liza with um, Latias and Swampert. The only reason I switched to Cast Form was I wanted to set up uh, Rain Dance. Give Swampert a little extra damage. Uh, and then I was going to swap out to Latias and use Heal Pulse to keep myself alive. Turns out, um, that first step was strategy enough. Ah, looks like we have quite a rock puzzle ahead of us. So, in the next part, we will be solving this rock puzzle. See you guys then.